Lacrosse Legends. Lacrosse Legends, a comprehensive look at America's greatest game featuring legends past, present, and future. Today on Lacrosse Legends, we're at Syracuse University's Lacrosse Legends Day. In sports, we often associate players with stadiums. In baseball, it's the house that Ruth built. In football, it's prime time. My house. <laughs> I built this, and this is my house. I don't care if I'm with the Falcons or not. This is my house, and this will always be my house. In lacrosse, there's the Dome in Syracuse, built by brothers Gary and Paul Gate. It's Syracuse University's Lacrosse Legends Day. The first to be honored, Coach Gary Gate. <laughs> We 
honor Syracuse lacrosse legend, Gary Gates. My brother Gary and I grew up on Vancouver Island, and like most of our friends, we played multiple sports, like soccer, basketball, rugby, and lacrosse. We had great success as young athletes that resulted in a call from Coach Simmons inviting us to play lacrosse for Syracuse University. With the help of our teammates, we quickly adjusted to the college style of lacrosse, but it was during the NCAA tournament in 1987 that we realized college lacrosse was no different than the lacrosse we grew up playing. From that point forward, we knew we had the team, and if we could apply what we learned growing up, we did win. We now ask that you please turn your attention to the top of section 329 in the east end zone as we raise Gary Gates number 22 jersey for permanent recognition. Presenting the number 22 jersey to Gary Gate is Syracuse Director of Athletics, John Wildhand. And now Gary would like to say a few words. I just want to thank my family, my lovely wife, Nicole, uh, my kids, my, my parents, my in-laws. Um, Syracuse Lacrosse has been everything to me. Coach Simmons, back in the day when he gave us the opportunity to come to Syracuse for great education and to play lacrosse, changed my life forever. And it was an incredible opportunity to come and play in front of the greatest lacrosse fans in the world, Syracuse University Lacrosse. You guys are the best, you're awesome, and I appreciate all you guys that come out here for every game and really cheer on the team. Um, I want to thank uh, our athletic director, John Wildhack, um, for providing me with the opportunity to lead the Orange and have a chance to, to move on from the past, which was a, a true treat and a pleasure, and build the future. And I look forward to taking the 2022 team to the next level and getting back to that championship weekend and giving us a chance to claim our title. Thank you all very much. Congratulations, Gary. You've joined the ranks of Syracuse legends and will forever be recognized for your amazing career. Congratulations, Coach. 
Coach Kate on your jersey retirement. Thank you for helping us develop into the players that we are today. We wouldn't be here without you. Coach Kate, um, the greatest to ever do it. It's been such an honor to be able to play for you the last five years. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, Coach Kate, for constant support for three years here. Um, I learned so much from you. I was very thankful to have you as a coach. Hey, Coach, congrats on your jersey retirement. You deserve it. You're the best of the best. Next, it was the Syracuse Orange taking on the number one ranked Maryland Turks. Back at the Dome, it was time to honor Coach Roy Simmons Jr. For all your many titles and accomplishments, you have inspired hundreds of students to be great human beings as well as great athletes. You made lacrosse a better sport and Syracuse a better place. For that, we all congratulate you. Ladies and gentlemen, today we continue our special day here at the Dome. So please turn your attention back to the video board as we honor Syracuse lacrosse legend, Roy Simmons, Jr. Well, I was fortunate enough to have my father be a lacrosse coach. So when I was old enough to get to the dining room table, he showed me with a salt and pepper shaker, the sugar bowl, moving things around, what lacrosse was all about. And also, he'd take me to work. Work was, he was a coach. So I wound up being the mascot. The coach's kid was a mascot of the lacrosse team. And I just about old enough to walk. My feet didn't touch the ground when I sat on the bench. But I was involved with lacrosse uh, when I first learned to walk. A lot of coaches get into the game themselves, and it's an extension of their ego. Uh, I don't have an ego. Uh, I don't. Uh, they say you're going to play my way or the highway. I, I let uh, my thoroughbreds, if I had some, I let them use their imagination. I 
ideas as opposed to play my way uh, because this is the play and this is what you do and if you don't do it you're off the field. I never played like that. I let them run. I always felt like a thoroughbred horse. These kids are thoroughbreds. Uh, I gave them the right to run uh, and to do what they thought they could do best. Well, Sir Kiyosurgis University is my life. I was a mascot of the game. I was a ball boy. I was a player. I was a freshman coach. And I became the varsity coach. So the game has been, been all my life. Fans, please now welcome to the field. Director of Athletics, John Wildham, Dr. Ruth Chen, and today's guest of honor, Roy Simmons, Jr. Please join us in welcoming Roy and his family. We now ask that you please turn your attention to 117 as we unveil Roy Simmons, Jr. name for permanent recognition in the Ring of Honor. for the second half of Syracuse versus Maryland. Rock 
steady, better get your blocks ready. Final decisions and mad revisions for all rivals. I will always be the brother you can relate to. Exciting! It's been an incredible uh, weekend uh, celebrating the past, and the history of the program. And uh, one thing I'm very proud of is that our team <coughs> played with heart, they hustled, and they really uh, didn't quit, and they gave it everything they had. And I, I'm proud of that because that's the attitude. It's got to be a, a core of what we're going to do this year. And that's compete with energy, excitement, and never quit. And that's what they did today. Unfortunately, we uh, we didn't make the plays we needed to. I think they obviously think we have more opportunities. Get the job done on the offensive end, and uh, we need to get better. We need to trust in what we're trying to do and finish our opportunities. In. And we'll get better. We'll communicate. We'll move the ball better and uh, find ways to come out on top in the future. So, proud of the effort today and uh, excited to move on to next week. Midway through the second quarter, you came up with a big save. Then the timeout was called and goal scored right afterwards. What did you talk about? Um, I, I can't remember that exact line. <laughs> it was awesome. Hey, you know, I come into the dome all the time, and, and you know, it's nice to see our championship banners up the paint from the ceiling, and you know, the ball banner and the basketball, and, and it's just nice that with the tradition that they have here, you know, that we're recognizing the players that have contributed to this university and to this, you know, to the sport of lacrosse and now to be honored. So when that went up, it was, uh, you know, it was like a couple deep breaths and let it sink in and it was a, it was a very cool moment. It really was. There's a whole list of people that you join, but, uh, you know, um, I, I gotta be honest, there's so many players, you know, so many All-Americans, so many Hall-of-Famers, it would be, it'd be difficult, but for me, it's an easy one because, you know, for me, I, they, they honored myself, but I look back at my time in Syracuse and it was really the Gate brothers and, you know, we wouldn't have had the success we had and I wouldn't have had the accolades I had I, unless, you know, my brother was there. You know, and I really thought that uh, 
know, it's a nice honor. We'd love to see him hit through the club side line. That's the way we, we, we are here as student athletes. We work together as a team. We're the Gate Brothers, and we, we've made each other better. And through the work of our, you know, the teamwork between brothers, and along with the, the rest of the team, we were able to compete at the highest level. And I really think that I owe everything to my brother Paul, and I'd love to see him with him. Okay, first first, congratulations on today. Hey, great, congratulations. With a quick turnaround, um, are you going to, is your preparation for next Saturday's game going to be any different? Uh, not, not a whole lot. It's our first road game, so we get on the road. So I know we get a meeting, staff's got a meeting in the morning, and we're going to get prepared for the week. So we'll dial it in and do what we think is best to give ourselves a chance to win. Back in the dome, it was time to honor Coach Katie Rowan. Ladies and gentlemen, as we conclude our very special day here in the Dome, please turn your attention to the video board as we honor Syracuse lacrosse legend, Katie Rowan. Katie Rowan helped build Syracuse into a perennial contender for the national championship. After a breakout freshman campaign, Rowan and the all American honors Leading Syracuse to its first ever conference championship and NCAA tournament win in 2007. And she was just getting started. Continuing to make history in 2008, Rowan led the nation in points and assists, setting single season school records that still stand today. The Orange also had the most prolific scoring offense in the nation as they won their second straight Big East title and advanced to championship weekend for the very first time. Rowan was a finalist for both the Tourton and Honda Awards that year, becoming the first player in school history to achieve the feat. Rowan also shined on the international stage, helping the U.S. capture back-to-back -back World Cups. She is Team USA's all-time leader in points and assists. Above all else, Rowan set a selfless example of what it means to be orange. It needs the leader to follow her humble, kind, team-first attitude, coupled with her calm, cool, collective, and let's not forget, clutch, style of play, helped lay the foundation for the greatness of the Syracuse Women's Cross today. Thank you, Tony One. You truly are the greatest of all time. Welcome to the midfield. Welcome to the athletic John Wildman, Dr. Wu Chen, and today's guest of honor, number 21, Katie Rowan. Ladies and gentlemen, join us in welcoming Katie Rowan and her family. Now we ask you to please turn your attention to the top of section 329 in the East End Zone as we raise Katie Rowan's number 21 jersey for permanent recognition. Number 21 jersey to Katie Rowan is the Syracuse director of athletics, John Wyatt. And now, Katie would like to say a few words. I would like to thank John Wildcat, our athletic director, and Dr. Ruth Chen for this recognition. It is amazing to be back in the Carrier Dome today in front of you all. I'd like to thank my family for being here, my coaches, teammates, 
alumni and the current Syracuse and my current Precinct family for being here today. Syracuse is such a special place to me and will always be near and dear to my heart. And to the fans, it was always a great honor to play in front of you. You're the best fans in the country, so thank you. Congratulations, Katie. You become the very first women's lacrosse player in Syracuse to ever choose to retire. And will forever be recognized for your amazing career. Next, Syracuse Orange faced off against the Stony Brook Sea Wolves. Thank you for making all that noise tonight. We really appreciate it. You're far too kind. Well, Syracuse University's Lacrosse Legends Day was quite the event. Lacrosse Legends would like to congratulate Coach Roy Simmons Jr., Coach Gary Gate, Coach Katie Rowan. The Syracuse Lacrosse legacy continues. With the women's team, the foundation has been set. As far as the men's team, the Coach Gate era has begun. Cross Legends would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all our supporters and viewers. On behalf of all the staff and crew, this is Monsanto Muzak for Cross Legends. <laughs> What you made me do, look what I made for you. Knew if I paid my dues, how will they pay you? When you first come in the game, they try to play you. Then you drop a couple of hits, look how they wave to you. From Marcy to Madison Square, the only thing that matters is just a matter of years. Yeah, faith would have it, chase status appears to be.